Hi there, I'm Caleb. In this video, I'll be giving you a quick walkthrough of Zoom, the video conferencing platform. First of all, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to zoom.us. What you want to do is you want to sign up for a free account. By the way, guys, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications for more. So here, we are setting up a new account. So this is the email that you get from Zoom. Please activate your Zoom account. All you want to do is scroll down, activate account. Now, once you press an activate account, you'll be required to enter in a name. And we're going to enter in a password here. To invite colleagues, you can enter in relevant emails and you can add them to your Zoom account. I'm going to skip this step because it's not necessary. All right then, so now it's going to take you here to start your test meeting. If you want to do the test meeting, you can. Otherwise, you can simply go to my account. Now, this is sort of your account dashboard. You've got here your personal meeting ID. You've got your user type, basic. You've got language. You've got capacity. Now, your capacity for your meetings up to 100 participants at 40 minute 40 minute meetings up to 100 participants you've got your date time you can link it to a google calendar you've got a host key here you can go over to meetings and you can actually schedule a meeting here so if i wanted to schedule a meeting to put all right you can set your duration so you can see if you do anything more than 40 minutes it will say here your Zoom basic plan is a 40 minute limit for each meeting with three or more participants. You, you can go a recurring meeting to where it makes it every single day or daily or weekly or monthly. You can repeat every so many days and you can have an end date. Generate your meeting ID automatically or you can use your personal meeting ID like I mentioned earlier and then you can require a meeting password. I would recommend this and participant video you can tick whether you want it on or off and as in for audio telephone computer or both so you've got the option here to enable join before host i wouldn't recommend that because obviously you would want host on you can mute participants upon entry i'd recommend that you can establish a waiting room to where participants come on you'll need to physically you'll need to manually press a button to bring them in and you can record meetings as well so good you can press on save and then once you press on save, you've got here all of this, you've got your test, you've got your description, you've got your zoom URL option to save as a template, edit this meeting or delete this meeting. I'm just gonna quickly delete that with all settings. Now this is important. Um you've got the option here to start video you've got the option here to start meetings with video on, audio type, join before host. Use personal meeting ID, which I wouldn't recommend. Password, I would recommend. You can change settings here. Reminders, mute upon entry. Or advanced, you've got an app marketplace, which is marketplace.zoom.us. You need to agree to the terms of service. And this is good, pretty much. The Zoom marketplace allows you to add different apps in order to enhance your Zoom experience. Host a meeting, and you can go with the video on. Anyway, so you've got your mic here, you've got your audio, you've got invite where you're able to invite via email or you can alternatively copy a link. You've got manage participants here to where if you were to have participants, you've got the option to mute, rename, you've got the option to more, you can start video as well. So you've got the option here to manage all of those participants. You've got the option here to do a screen share. Let's say if you wanted to screen share something, you can then screen share something here let's say if you wanted to bring up something on files or if you wanted to bring something you can do that you can pause the screen share as well so ideally one thing that i love about zoom is the amount of settings that you've got when it comes to your video so if i go to video here you can see you've got relevant video settings you've got audio screen share virtual background this is one thing that i like I do like the option of having a virtual background. You can actually select whether you want a virtual background or not. You can record sessions as well. Um, you can view statistics as well with regards to CPU usage and memory, as well as keyboard shortcuts and accessibility features as well. If you wanted to go to a full screen layout, and you want to leave your meeting, just press leave. Now you've got the option here 
So well, you can you as the host can leave your meeting, but then your participants will be in, or you can end your meeting. So well, when you leave, your participants will leave as well. But at the end of the day, the free plan is pretty good. Um, up to 100 participants, one-to-one -one meetings, 40-minute limit on group meetings, which in that respect, it is a bit not that good. You've got web conferencing tools, video conferencing features, group conferencing features, you've got good security as well. But obviously, your advanced options have, you know, durations of 24 hours. Other ones have got more participants, phone support, admin dashboard. At the end of the day, you know, Zoom is really, really good. I think Zoom is one of the answers to to video conferencing in 2020 because at the end of the day, there's so many people that need to do video conferencing now and that's why I made this video to educate you people regarding Zoom and all of that. But at the end of the day, guys, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to turn on post notifications for more. But other than that, guys... I will see you all next time. Thank you for watching.